Hey guys, how's it going? So, I wanted to look more into this verse that Robert Breaker used in his Interracial Marriage article, Acts 17.26. It says, And hath made of one blood all nations of men, for to dwell on the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed, and the bounds of their habitation. And he tries to say that God created bounds for different races of people, and that he wants people, those races, to stay within those bounds. And I've heard Brian Denlinger pretty much use the same argument, and uh, it's totally wrong. And so I wanted to kind of get a better understanding of what this verse is really trying to teach. I've looked through a lot of commentaries on here, and I think I don't agree with quite a bit of them, but I found Wesley's. Oops, and I didn't mean to click on that. I think that I agree probably with Wesley's, and it's helped me to kind of understand this verse better. And basically what he says about the bounds of their habitation part, he says, by mountains, seas, rivers, and the like. And so basically what we got here is, uh, we can go back to verse 24, where it says, God that made the world and all things therein. And that's kind of key. God made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Neither is worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth life to all, and breath, and all things. Again, speaking about God being the creator of all things. And then we go on to, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on the face of the earth. Okay, and uh, this is kind of where pe the people get mixed up, Robert Breaker and Denlinger. Uh, you know, they see the word all nations, and so they start getting nation-minded here, okay? Uh, but the deal, the idea here is one blood, all nations. This is just saying all people. He made all people to dwell on the face of the earth, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, he had determined the times before appointed. What does that mean? I think that means that God determined the times. Okay, he made night and day. And so uh, he determined the times before appointed. So the times that we have appointed, you know, uh, night and day and the different hours throughout, they were already determined by God because he was the one who created all things. He first created, you know, night and day, the light and the dark. And uh, and then it goes on to say, in the bounds of their habitation. Okay? And so, the bounds of their habitation. Who's there? Well, uh, Robert Breaker and Denlinger try to they go back to the nations part. And so they say, well, see, uh, these bounds are for the habitation of the different nations. They each have their own different habitation. But no, the context is God created all things. He created all people. And so we take a step back and we see that there's more of a general thing here where he created the bounds of the habitation for all men. So, you know, we got, you know, the different continents and we got the ocean. Those are the bounds, okay, for all people. And Wesley says, by mountains, seas, rivers, and the like. These are the bounds that are created, okay? Uh, so, basically, you know, that's what I get out of it. And we continue uh, that they should seek the Lord if they happily might feel after him and find him. This is talking about all people. It has nothing really to do with individual nations. When it says all nations of men, it's just it's saying all people. Okay, uh, so, <clears throat> and you know, I can draw uh, maybe a diagram or something to help explain, so, let's see, let's see if we just have like a continent, like Africa or something, <laughs> so the crew drawing here. And uh, so Breaker would say, uh, you know, we have, um, you know, we have these people over here, 
as one nation, and we have these people over here, and we have these people over here, these people over here, and and they're all supposed to stay within these bounds, okay? And uh, so that's kind of a uh, breaker. That's breaker's interpretation there, and um, <clears throat> that there's certain people within certain bounds there, and. But the real idea is that, uh, you know, God created the land and the sea, okay, uh, you know, there's, uh, let's see, I'm <laughs> not even really trying to argue this, so, you know, here's the water and the land and, uh, you know, so, this is, these are the bounds for all men of all nations. Okay, God created the land and the sea. He created the night and the day. He created the land and the sea. And that's basically what Acts is talking about here, Acts 17. Nice chart. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> so that's Acts seventeen twenty six. I hope you get that. Uh, so yeah, that's it. God bless. <laughs>